My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. How are you? James, Zach, everyone at home, and all the moms, happy belated Mother's Day to your belated mother. Uh, If you're a terrible mother, probably not to you. All the good moms out there, and average, ones that tried hard. If you're a bad mom, leave a comment below. Let it out there. Tell us why you're a bad mother. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. I was Disney World, Zach. Thumbs up from Zach. Let's get right into it, Jake. James, this is big. Rich Strike, your boy, wins the Kentucky Derby, one of the biggest upsets in sport history, the second biggest in the Kentucky Derby's history, 80 to 1 long shot. And Jim, most most importantly, this horse ran a hell of a race. The overhead view is one of the cooler things. When the jockey hits that one gap, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Brings them to the rails and then hits the gap and then just Runs books faster it. than the other horses. Odds this horse tests for something illegal next week. Odds. Oh, it's already 100%, but they won't announce it because it's good for horse racing. It's good for horse racing? Yeah. Okay. It's already, yeah. Going to get paid to fuck now. And his dad, <laughs> his price went up too. I just saw that. That's cool. When your son's successful, looking at you, James, do something cool. Jim, this is almost a breakdown. Let's get back to what we know. Baseball. And Jim, a couple players here doing what we like to see on the course. Contreras with a little nut tap of Muncie. Interesting. Weird. The ball skirts away from Contreras, goes around Muncie. Contreras takes the front toll route and then reaches out with his right hand and grabs Muncie, or like pokes him or like touches him. And my best guess here honest guess not a joke is that he was kind of like you know how like when you run around a, a, a pole, a pole yeah. you grab it to like kind of no pivot guessing. yourself okay that's exactly what happened that's still weird you can't use the other player yeah. as a structural of support but he should have went football combine and you drop the shoulder around to get there instead he went running around the pole yeah grabbed it now the problem i have is i'll reach out to some of our friends over on the doyers but muncie didn't get hurt He just wanted to make sure people knew what happened. Yeah, I was just grabbed in the penis. Yeah, I want to stop the game real quick and make sure they show a replay of this. So he fakes hurt, and then ESPN's like, what's going on here? And they're like, oh, oh. And then Munch's like, yes, okay, great. Now that you've all seen it, we can move on. I just want to make sure that was on record. showing that replay of me. I just grabbed my nuts. Zach, in more sports, we're going to your Philadelphia. Rockies Physical performance coach, I think that's important to say, eats 25 Philly cheesesteaks during a series against the Phillies. Now, rumor has it that this is like some lore in baseball land. The record was previously held by Brewers bullpen catcher Marcus Hanel, who smashed 23 cheesecake during a series in 2015. So this is something that is in Philly lore, the cheesesteak famously from Philly. And Rocky's physical performance coach, our guy Mike Jasperson, hell of a fake name, had 25 cheesesteaks. My first thought here is that I need the chef of the Philly... Uh, ballpark to chime in because if the bread recipe is different in any way, anything would be null. It's null because that's a lot of bread. And then my other thing was, I thought it was cheesecake for the first like an odd amount of until time. you told me. Like I saw it a couple days ago, and I was disgusted. Yeah, cheese steak not as gross. It's uh, a something you can have for every meal. This is a physical performance, yeah. and he is the physical performance coach, so it all adds up here. I mean, if I'm Mike Jasperson, which I've pretended to be at many karaoke's. Yeah. Um, Michael J. Jasperson. I would tell every player on the team, tell me what you want to do, yeah. and you can do it, because I wanted to do this, mm-hmm. and I did it. I've performed for you guys. Now you're up. I'm Mike Jasperson. Oh, Jim. Here's one that's close to your heart. Man's penis fell off and regrows on his arm. Yep. Yep, this is uh, this is a big story. I'm glad I'm dressed well. I'm glad I look nice. I'm missing the main shirt because this is a serious topic. His name is uh, Malcolm McDonald. Malk Mac. And his penis, it says here, just dropped off onto the floor after a severe blood infection. So it was not cut off. It just fell off. Just walking around. Boop. What's that? Oh, it was my wiener. So the surgeons... They manufactured a new penis using the skin and putting it back together on his arm. And then they're going to migrate it downstairs once the blood flow came back below his waist. Because you don't want to migrate a penis, then it just falls off again. Took six years 
He just lived with a wiener on his arm for six years due to scheduling mix-ups, staff shortages, and the pandemic, which are all not valid excuses to leave a penis on the man's arm. If your penis is ready to be replaced, you get that done. Um, I think a doctor would love to do that, too. That feels like a good badge to have. I moved a guy's penis from his foreham to his hand ham. He said, people ask me about it at the pub. I get it. It's not every day you see a man with a penis on his arm. And it's like, okay. It's not any day for me. I've never seen board. it. Never seen it. Um, I am worried about this guy, Jake. We think he's a little creepy. I think he's a little creepy because it says in his book, no, in his documentary, he recalled helping an elderly lady retrieve an item from the top shelf only to have his penis pop out from under his sleeve. And that's, that's I mean, dude, that's... Not cool. You can't do that. Jay can't reach up, grab a bottle off the top shelf, and then his wiener's out. You can, but there's punishment. It's punishment. And then he said, it's something to tell the grandchildren, isn't it? Don't. I, my first thought wouldn't be, oh, I can't wait to tell my grandchildren about this, but I have a wiener on my arm. Oh, can you hand me that book? So it's back into the regular spot now, and he got to design it. He goes, I got a designer penis. Can't wait to tell my grandkids. The more I think about it, I don't like it. You don't like the guy? How many times do you think he blew himself? Employee of the week. That guy just fucked a sheep. It's the employee of the week. Malk Mack fucked a sheep. Jim, we're keeping everything McDonald. Oh! That Malk guy grew Mack. a penis from his forearm. K-Mac, Kyle McDonald. You might know him from the Blitzball battle. Very successful baseball career. Comes to an end. He messaged me last night. He said, I'm done. He was relieved. Uh, felt kind of a burden lifted. And now he can go on and do whatever he wants. For the love of the game, I'm through. Billy Chapel, same exact retirement, K Mac. Similar. And yeah, he uh maybe we'll get him more involved here. He he once was on record saying for fifty dollars a day I will have sex with a dolphin every day. Over the course of a year. A lot of money. Joe's got so jealous and now it's just the whole thing. So uh congratulations. What's fifty times three sixty five? Zach? Uh oh, it's a calculator race. Eighteen thousand two hundred and fifty. First. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Mizzen and Main, which was awesome for me because I wore my Mizzen and Main shirt naturally just because it is comfortable and looks good. I can do all my favorite stretches while also looking so damn good. Mizzen and Main, comfort and flexibility. Whether you're working from the golf course or finally taking advantage of that unlimited vacation policy, we've got good news. Right now, you can go to mizzenandmain.com and use promo code DUMB. You'll receive $35 off any regular price order of $125 or more. $35 off when you go to M-I-Z-Z-E-N-A-N-D-M-A-I-N.com and use promo code DUMB. What noises do you want for the horse banging? I was going to make the noise. Oh. That's the noise I want. Now you make it. <laughs>